Hey, this is Paolo from the NB Academy, and in today's video we have another Precious Pass member request. Today we're going to be taking a look at the main bass from the track Harsh Cold by Clinical. So this is the original version. And this is the bass we're going to be creating. It's not the same, but it's in the same style, and you can create very similar tracks with this. And so, before we get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. If you're already subscribed, share this video with someone who you think would appreciate having this resource. So, let's begin with the video. So, the key behind this sound is to have the key harmonics that create this, like these, and then run those through distortion to generate all the harmonics in between. Then use something like a filter, like a filter like this, to create the movement. But this is not the only way of doing this. You can also do this with FM, for example. So here we don't have an input from Oscillar B. We should have the sub here. But if I play this with solo on B, we get nothing. So those harmonics could be generated from FM, for example, by having three octaves and seven semitones up or just uh, three octaves. And then combining that to a sub and distortion. As you can see. And this also applies to vital. For example, here we have a setup with a sine wave and FM from Oscillar B. And you can get similar results. Now, if you want to explore all of those things, you can become a member of Preset Pass because we include all of these project files and you can explore my failed attempts. So let's just initialize this patch and let's begin from scratch. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to load sine waves on each oscillator. And the reason why is because the sine wave is just one pure harmonic. And so if we pitch the sine wave in the correct position, we will get the combination of harmonics that the sound originally has. So let's just pitch A up three octaves and four semitones up. And then this one, three octaves and seven up. So we're kind of creating a chord inside a bass, which is actually super interesting. We're going to layer some noise. And we're going to bring the random factor of the faces all the way down like this. Boost this up a lot. And then we're going to map an LFO into a level of oscillator B, like this. That in itself sounds awesome. Let's make this as low. And let's create a shape that is like rising and then goes down like this. Just like that. Let's also create kind of a pitch bend into this patch by modulating the fine tuning of both oscillators. Let's set this at around 25 points. Why not? That one went 26, but it's okay. Let's put this one at 25. There you go. And then since this modulation is bipolar, then that means that the middle point of this modulation is going to be this point right here in the LFO. So let's just make a shape like this. Make it slow, like four bars or something like that. That has this a slight, very slight pitch bending on it. Then let's also make another LFO shape for this oscillator. So we have one for this. Now we could use another one for this. Let's map this into a level here. Let's change the modulation magnitude. And then let's create a rising shape, maybe two bars on envelope mode, so it stays at the top, and maybe a rising shape like this. Just like that. And now let's go into the effects tab. And here in the effects tab, we're going to add hyper and chorus to make this signal more stereo. That also makes it feel a bit more atmospheric. Uh, let's set this to high pass. Awesome. And now let's run everything through distortion. Nice. So as you can see, we're generating the harmonics based on the combination of harmonics that we set before. So for example, if we distort the fundamental and then the, the other ones three octaves up, we will generate the series of harmonics that corresponds to those key spots in the original sound. If you're interested in exploring this topic in more in-depth, I'm talking about 11 hours of a full start to finish track creation, you can check the Avis course where he talks very in-depth about this topic. 
Doing this not only will help boost your creativity and your production skills, but it will also support this channel immensely and will help us keep creating these videos. So if you're a fan of the YouTube channel and you're also interested in leveling up your production skills, you can do all of that by getting one of the resources that we offer to you on the mbacademy.com. So now let's continue with the video. So let's just uh, turn the compressor set on multiband, add gain and release. Sounds awesome. Let's drown this on reverb. Because you know, atmospheric sounds. And then let's put everything through a filter. To just simulate that motion of the original sound. So maybe for now, let's just keep it simple and set it on four bars. Set on envelope and let's put this on the cutoff. And then let's create that movement here. So maybe it'll be something like thum thum. We can right click here and set a star point. So that's too slow. Let's set it on 16 and then let's do half of it. Tun tun. So just like that. Uh, let's see if that works on our sequence. Oops, let's set the star point here. And there you go, that's how we will build this type of atmospheric screechy basses. Now, of course, you can explore the other possibilities from this space by taking a look at the other patches that I created when I was trying to remake the sound. You can access those by becoming a member of Preset Pass. And if you really, really want the most deep info about sound design, you can take any of our start to finish courses. For example, the Abyss start to finish course, where he walks you through the same approach in up to 11 hours of content through his course. So if you really want to expand your knowledge on this, I will highly encourage you to get that. So anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you're already subscribed, share this with a producer friend to help us build more of this community and support the channel so we can keep making these videos. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.